Hello, my name is Joana Shovago and I'm an application scientist at CCDC. Today, I'm going to show you how to run hydrogen bond propensity tool using the Python API. This is part of a co-crystal design workflow in CSD materials. Let's get started. In Windows, and once you open that, you will have to activate your Miniconda environment. So you use our Miniconda Python. To do that, type uh, program file where your CCDC install is, CCDC, then the Python API, then Miniconda, then script, then activate. Then hit return, and you can see now you're in the base, you're in your Miniconda environment. And to run the script, what you have to do is, of course, look at the outcome you just uh, seen uh, in your tables and then decide which molecular, which libraries and component you want to rank now. And we have pre-made ready for you a Python script and two Word documents template. So you have to have all these three in your folder and then you put your conformers. I just put three in this case. Once you run it, uh, you will see folders like this uh, with the results. And to just run this script, so let's go in that folder, users, Vago, then mchbp, and then you could just call Python, then the Python script, which is called mchbp report, then minus c, and then you call the conformer library folder, and then you just type your, if you have a mol2 file in that folder or a C file, you just type the name of that. Or in this case, if it's a ref code, you just do that and then you hit return. And as I said, this is quite time consuming, so we'll not look at the end. I pre-run it already. And um, basically at the end, you will get a report in work document format with the table I show you on the slides, the 2D molecule of your target molecule, and you can see all the scores nicely here, and you get a picture. And of course, everything that's above zero will be in a green region. So in this case, because I only run three conformers, you only see three points and they are all in the green place. If you run more, you will see something like this, a graph like this will be displayed if you run more conformers. And basically that's it, you're ready to go and good luck with your screening experiments. Thank you for listening.